Imagine trying to eat soup with a fork. Pretty frustrating, right? That's what bad UX feels like. Hi there. Welcome to the first session of Dropout Academy's UX Design Foundation course. My name is Mayur Karudia. I am the founder and CEO at Dropout Academy and your instructor for the course. With over 9 years of experience in UX design, I have worked with some of the top companies in India like Eros International and Housing.com. In this session, I'll help you understand what is UX design, what is the difference between UX and UI design, and how can you make a career in UX design. We'll talk about what are the career opportunities in the field, how much salary you can make, a lot of other things around that. So let's get started. The term UX design was first coined by legendary usability specialist Don Norman. He's the author of the popular bestseller book The Design of Everyday Things. In fact, in the past he has worked with a lot of leading organizations like Apple. You can also say he was the first UX designer in the world. Think of him like Amitabh Bachchan of UX design. So first things first, let's understand what is UX design. Imagine you walk into a fancy restaurant with beautifully decorated exteriors, but once you are inside, the menu looks confusing, the chairs are uncomfortable, and the food takes forever to arrive. Not a great experience, right? Similarly, in the digital world, when you use a website or an app which is not easy to use, it makes your experience bad. For example, imagine navigating through this website. Feels like scratching your head, right? On the contrary, think about your favorite apps like Uber, Swiggy, or Airbnb. Think about how easy it is to book a cab from Uber or how those little micro animations in Swiggy look so delightful. That's the power of great UX design. So UX design or user experience design is all about creating products, be it website or apps that are simple, easy and fun to use. Another great example of UX design from our real life is Lego toys. I'm sure you must have also played with, with Lego toys in your childhood. The reason why Lego has been so popular worldwide is because of the great user experience. They are so easy to use and are so fun that you can spend hours and hours playing with them. Similarly, some of the apps with great user experience could be Spotify, Headspace, Airbnb, Uber and a lot of other apps like that. If you are keen on learning about the real brands and how these popular apps have been designed, you can go through their case studies on this website www.casestudyclub. I have attached the link in the description. A question that beginners or entry level designers often ask is what skills do you need to become a UX designer or can anyone become a UX designer so let me tell you what are the skills required to become a UX designer so a good UX designer loves solving problems they are very analytical they understand data they can work with a lot of data and make meaning out of it they have good communication skills now it doesn't mean that you have to be really fluent in english even if you can communicate your ideas it should be perfectly fine you should know just good enough english so as to crack the interviews lastly a good ux designer is empathetic and they understand people they like to know about people's behaviors their challenges their motivations and goals so if you are someone who like to understand people and make their lives better ux design could be for you now let me clear a very important thing here you don't necessarily need to know how to draw or paint to become a ux designer Although UX design has the term design in it but this UX design has nothing to do with sketching or painting moreover you do not even need to know coding to become a UX designer UX design is a completely zero coding skill talking about the career opportunities in this field UX design is a really booming field it is the third highest paying tech skills as per forbes now you would understand that good design is very essential to any product or service you wouldn't buy a product yourself if that is not properly designed or the experience is bad So no matter how small or big the company is good design is essential to any kind of business today and hence all the business in the world all the digital businesses in the world today would need ux designers there are thousands of vacancies and openings in ux design in india alone and yes ux design is one of the few fields where you can get remote jobs and work from anywhere you want but let's see if you are more of an entrepreneur you do not want to get stuck in a job in a full time job you want to start something of your own or you want the freedom to work at any time from any place You can choose the path of freelancing in UX design. Freelancing is a very common practice in UX design. In fact, a lot of our students from Dropout Academy have gotten great freelancing projects after graduating from Dropout Academy. Now, let's talk about what you have been waiting to hear. How much money you can make in the field? Now, I'll be very honest here. Realistically speaking, looking at the data of the last 3 years, a fresher entering into the field without any prior experience of designing can expect anywhere between 3 to 8 LPA. Of course, that depends upon your skills and your portfolio. and as your experience increases in the field the amount increases multiple fold time there are designers in india who are earning even 60 to 80 lakhs per annum furthermore if you talk about the career progression ux designers can go on to become design heads or even product managers 
So all in all, if you are thinking about learning UX design, I think you are on the right track. Trust me when I say this because it's been 9-10 years that I have been in this field and I enjoy every bit of it. I have travelled to more than 10 countries, worked with top brands, earned a good living, even was fortunate enough to meet celebrities like Sachin Tendulkar. So yeah, if you ask me, UX design is pretty cool. So that's a wrap for this module. I hope you would have gotten an understanding of UX design and what are the career prospects in it. Hope this session also clears up your mind if UX design would be the right field for you or not. See you in next session where we'll dive deeper into the process of UX design and design thinking. If you have any doubts or you want to discuss any particular topic or you need more help anywhere, you can also join our design community which has a lot of senior folks from the industry, a lot of people that are starting out just like you and a lot of people who are design mentors. So see you in the next session. Thank you so much.